Plan for the best, but prepare for the worst with BuyEmergencyFoods.com. For a hearty freeze-dried meal ready in seconds, just add water. 25-year shelf life and non-GMO. The taste test king. Bigger portion sizes and more food storage for your money. For when you and your family need it most. Click the link below and buy emergency foods right now. Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning in to AMTV Alternative Media Television. It is December 10th, 2013, approaching the holiday season, and another scandal breaks. Edward Snowden does it again. Again, a lot of people think he's a hero. Uh, a lot of uninformed Americans and people around the world think he's a traitor. I mean, how dare Edward Snowden share the truth with the American people? How dare he shed light on the fact that the NSA and the Obama administration is spying on you on a daily basis, not just recording and documenting every cell phone conversation that you ever have, every text message you ever send, uh, listening to your conversations via your cell phone microphone and your household appliance microphones and watching you and surveilling you on a daily basis if they by chance decide to put you on a terror watch list because they think you might be a terrorist breaks another major, major story uh, that the NSA is now, is now, or has been, rather, planning agents inside and spying on you through video games, such as World of Warcraft. Uh, this here is Forbes, says, New Snowden leak reveals the NSA planted agents inside a World of Warcraft. Uh, fearing that terrorist activity might be taking place. All of you sitting in your underwear in the morning with your bowl of cereal, maybe before work, playing uh, this massive online multiplayer game, uh, might be negotiating with the likes of Osama bin Laden and moving money around through digital currencies such as Bitcoin or uh, whatever they might be suspecting of you of that particular moment. Uh, it says the Guardian recently said that they have only published a very tiny percentage of the NSA documents, less than 1%, uh, provided to them by the now infamous leaker Edward Snowden. And now a new revelation has taken a strange turn into the video game realm. Uh, documents provided by Snowden from 2008 say that the NSA and the UK's agencies planted agents inside MMOs like World of Warcraft and the video game uh, Second Life. Uh, the document called Exploiting Terrorist Use of Games in Virtual Environments was published this week's week and tells tales of the spy agencies trying to track down terrorist communications through each of the games. Uh, eventually, Xbox Live was considered a possible means for terrorist contact as well. So for all of you video game buffs out there, you are being watched. And I find this story to be very interesting because not only do we know that they're wiretapping and spying on our cell phones and listening to our conversations and every email is up for grabs and our computers are being hacked on a daily basis. I mean, uh, hey, FBI, how you doing? How you doing, NSA? Uh, but now it's moving into the video game world, which I think maybe more people might care about uh, because it's a little bit more mainstream. I mean, millions of people play these video games, whether or not it's World of Warcraft or it's uh, Second Life, or it's Call of Duty, or any of these other uh, uh, multiplayer role-playing games, uh, maybe this might wake more people up. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, here's another article from the New York Times. says, Spies Infiltrate, a Fantasy Realm of Online Games. Uh, more corroborating evidence. Also, World of Spycraft, NSA and CIA spied in online games. Uh, it goes on to talk about how Xbox Live has been infiltrated by the NSA. Uh, also, uh, world leaders and world well, world leaders have been spied on. We know that there was uh, quite a bit of controversy around that. Obama spying on yeah, international leaders like German Chancellor uh, Angela Merkel. Um, I'm sure other countries haven't really enjoyed uh, those reports. But also a report coming from world's leading authors stating that uh, the surveillance of personal data is theft. Well, I would say it's more than just theft. I mean, this is criminal activity. This is an Orwellian police state stealing your information and interacting with you uh, while you're playing a game like this, Second Life. Uh, so while you're playing this video game and you're enjoying your morning coffee or maybe it's a weekend and uh, you know you just kind of want to get out of reality for a little bit and 
you know, play an enjoyable video game and dance around here with this character and interact in this virtual reality, which is kind of interesting in and of itself, the fact that social media dominates the, uh, the lifestyle of everyday Americans and those of you around the world were really living virtual lives now, and many people aren't even living really real lives anymore. It's, 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 it's very... Uh, uh, very interesting and a very interesting transition in history. But while you're doing this, while you're shaking around and, you know, dancing that thing, uh, you're being watched and surveilled by the NSA. So breaking, breaking report. Uh, I encourage you to get this out everywhere to your friends and family. Please share with them, those of your uh, that you know that play video games, that, you know, think that this is just an innocent, mindless activity and uh, is purely for fun. Uh, maybe you have kids that like to play these video games. Uh, you can now be very wary and cognizant of the fact uh, that the NSA and agencies like the FBI are actually interacting with your kids in this online world. And, man, what a cool job for these guys. I mean, think about it. These NSA agents get to play the World of Warcraft all day and harass... Uh, Americans, uh, I guess, assuming uh, and accusing them of terrorist activity, uh, you know, because again, your child might be negotiated in some kind of, uh, you know, terror uh, uh, plot uh, against the president or against the United States. So, uh, you know, this really is a uh, central focus now for uh, the Obama regime. Also, I did put a, a bombshell of a video out yesterday on Syria. Obama administration lied about the Syria chemical attacks. Of course, we already knew this, uh, but was very interesting about it, for those of you that read the article uh, published by Seymour Hirsch, Pulitzer Prize winner, titled Who's Sarin? He corroborates what AMTV and alternative media television had already been telling you for months, uh, that the Obama administration lied about the Syria chemical attacks. Uh, so please check that out, share it everywhere, virally, subscribe to our website, amtvmedia.com. You can just give us an email, stay up to date on everything, creates a username, and that way you get all of our latest uh, content, uh, all of our exclusive videos, uh, and you can stay up to date on all the breaking news. I'm Christopher Green, hard-hitting and in your face as usual. Please get this out everywhere. As always, I really appreciate your support. Thank you for supporting AMTV. Before we go, click the link below to support our sponsor.